This is Sheikh and Ian. They live together in a small Jahanke village in southeast Senegal called Misra Dantila. Sheikh is a community health worker, and Ian is a Peace Corps volunteer. Ian moved in with Sheikh's family in 2011, and the two quickly became close friends. Sheikh and Ian spend time learning about each other's cultures and languages, listening to music, and working in surrounding communities on health projects. Two weeks after Ian arrived in Misra Dantila, Sheikh's four-year-old niece, Sohna, died from malaria. Sheikh and Ian have witnessed firsthand the burden of malaria in their household and in their community. Malaria severely impacts the 1,400 inhabitants of the Misra Dantila zone, with over 50% of the people being treated for malaria in 2012. During the peak of malaria season, many farmers are too ill to tend their crops, students are absent from school, and families feel the economic strain of missing out on work as well as paying costly medical bills. As malaria is transmitted by mosquitoes, the Senegalese government has been distributing mosquito nets. Additionally, the government created the Pecadome program, which trains health workers in remote villages to diagnose and treat malaria in their homes. Each health worker is given a backpack with rapid diagnostic tests and malaria medicine. When someone in the community has symptoms of malaria, he or she approaches the community health worker to be tested and, if that test is positive, treated. In 2008, Sheikh received training in malaria treatment. For the past five years, he has been serving his community as the point person for testing and treating simple malaria. While the Pecado model increased rural populations' access to testing and treatment of malaria, many malaria cases were still left untreated. One evening, Ian and Sheikh were sitting around, listening to music and talking about this problem. They brainstormed ideas for improving the existing Pecadome model and proposed that instead of community health workers passively waiting for malaria cases to approach them in their homes, they instead would actively walk through their communities to find and treat malaria cases. Ian and Sheikh called this model Pecadome Plus. Under this approach, community health workers would do a sweep of the village, visiting every home once a week during the rainy season when malaria is most prevalent. The community health workers would test every individual that has symptoms of malaria using a rapid diagnostic test. For each test that appears positive and with a fever under 103 degrees, patients would be issued malaria medicines in their home. For cases where the fever was above 103 degrees and immediate intravenous medicine was required, the patient would be referred to the nearest health clinic. The project would also employ the involvement of women's care groups. Each woman in the group would be responsible for teaching 10 households about early detection of malaria and encouraging people to sleep under their bed nets. To turn this idea into reality would require resources, an increased supply of rapid diagnostic tests and medicines, and funds to train local community health workers. Since Peace Corps works closely with the President's Malaria Initiative and the Senegalese Ministry of Health, Sheikh and Ian were able to count on the district medical official, Dr. Yusufa Njai, and the President's Malaria Initiative resident advisors, Debbie Gay and Dr. Julie Twing, for the resources and technical support necessary to test this model. As the rainy season came to Misra Dantila in June of 2012, the Pecadome Plus model was born. Yeah, still even with the Pecadome, the normal, I mean the, the previous Pecadome, we still have people which were not rich because of geography, because of uh, financial access. 
So really, if you look at the, I mean, the results we've got from Mr. Antilla, it shows us how this strategy helps to fill the gap. In the first day of active sweeps, the community health workers tested 120 people for malaria. 88 of them tested positive and received immediate treatment. In comparison, in that entire month, the clinic only treated 50 people for malaria. With the Pecadome Plus model, almost twice the number of people were treated for malaria at home in a single day than were treated at the clinic in that entire month. In the entire year, the clinic treated 358 malaria cases. Under the Pecadome Plus model, 404 people were treated for malaria in just three months. The Pecadome Plus model was discovering and treating cases that would otherwise have gone undetected. Also, in 2012, the health clinic saw that the proportion of severe malaria cases dropped 41% compared to previous years. People who were sick were being treated early on before the malaria became severe. Finally, the end of season sweep showed malaria prevalence rates 88% lower in villages where the project was tested compared to those without the active model. With these encouraging results, Sheikh, Ian, Dr. Njai, and the President's Malaria Initiative team plan to expand the program to see if these promising results can be replicated and scaled up. From these steps, we're going to have information that we can share with the Minister of Health at another level and then think about scaling up in all the districts. I, I think we'll see with this next scale up that it's an extraordinarily cost-effective intervention and has huge potential to reduce morbidity and mortality from malaria in Senegal. The unique relationship between Sheikh and Ian and the support they received turned a casual backyard conversation into a way for their community to become more healthy and self-reliant. They hope their success will be replicated throughout the country and help bring Senegal one step closer to eliminating malaria. <laughs>